We'll have a look at another rendezvous question and we're given a time UTC 2300 receive a distress call from a cargo vessel position given and that vessel is heading towards a sanctuary position given there at a reduced speed of 10 knots and then we're given our vessel's position and our speed. First of all we need to calculate the true course of the vessel in distress. Well the vessel is heading to this position it's in this position, so simply use the formulas and we work out the vessel in distress is doing a course of 251.8 at a reduced speed of 10 knots. So now we know the other vessel's course and speed. What we now have to do is work out the bearing and distance between us. So that's the cargo vessel's current position, that's our vessel's position, and we work out that the other vessel is bearing 169 at 165 miles from our vessel. So we've got the true course of the vessel in distress and we want the course to steer to rendezvous. Now before we work that out I've done a quick sketch here. There's our vessel, there's the vessel in distress, that vessel's going on that course that we worked out there 251.8. So when we look to work out our approximate course, you can see that this vessel is going that way. We're at the moment pointing that way, so really we've got to go on a course southwesterly. Just an approximate course there calculated, maybe about 200. So what we have to do now is do our plot. So I've drawn a line down there bearing 169. And anywhere along there, I've drawn the other vessel doing a course of 252. I could have drawn it here, 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 it doesn't really matter. So I know for sure that distance and that bearing 252. I then get my compass, put the point on here, and then score that line at a distance of 15.5 knots. This represents 10 knots for the other vessel, this represents our 15.5. Once I've scored that line, I can then join that position to there, and that will give me our course of 209 degrees. So I worked out roughly it might be around 200, well the answer is 209. The other important piece of information we get from this vector triangle is the distance that will be reduced between the two vessels in one hour. And if we measure from there to there, in one hour, we're going to reduce um, our distance between us by 10.5 miles. So true course of the vessel 251.8, cargo vessel bearing 169 by 165. So from the plot, we worked out our rendezvous is 209. Total distance to cover 165. We've just seen from the plot we'll cover 10.5 miles in an hour. So the total steaming time, 15.7 hours. So the time at the rendezvous, 2300 plus that time, 1442 on the 20th. So that's the second part, we worked out the time of rendezvous. Now we need the rendezvous position and the time remaining to sunset. So our vessel is going to steam for 15.7 hours at 15.5 knots. Now you could have used either vessel to do this and that's the distance we've covered. So I'm going to calculate our rendezvous position steering 209 covering that distance and I've worked out by plane sailing, you could use Mercator of course, our rendezvous position here. I then take that information, look up on the 20th of October sunset in the, in the nautical almanac local time by interpolation I get 1815. Apply my longitude in time, I get 1609. Our rendezvous time is 1442, so the remaining time will be uh, 1 hour 27 minutes. And that's how we would solve that particular problem. But with these you're always looking for the bearing between yourself and the other vessel to give you the line to draw on your radar plot. So that's one value you always have to work out, that 169 and that total distance of course. 
then you variably know the other vessel's course speed. We may have to work out the course like we just did then. So we know that. We know that bearing but not the distance. But we do know the distance from here to here which is our vessel's speed. So we can score that off and that enables us to work out our course and to work out the distance that will be reduced between each vessel in that one hour period. Now if you actually plotted half scale be very careful because then you'd have to you'd work out what the distance you would cover in half an hour and don't forget if you did half scale you'd have to do both vessels speed at half scale.